Today, turbochargers are becoming a common part of our lives, as even cheap family cars can be now powered by a turbocharged engine. 20 or so years ago, it was a big thing to have forced induction in a four-wheeler, let alone motorcycles which never really needed it, though it did happen, and more than once. The following list will introduce you the vast majority of motorcycles ever fitted with a stock turbo or supercharger. BMW Type 255 Compressor Although the BMW 255 was more of a racing motorcycle than the production model, it did feature force induction and sounds incredibly nice. The twin cylinder box unit was boosted by a sliding vane supercharger, allowing the bike to reach circa 140 miles per hour. A few years ago, a BMW 255 compressor example was auctioned for $480,000. Kawasaki GPZ750 Turbo The GPZ750 Turbo bike was only advertised as the Kawasaki 750 Turbo, although it was sourced from the GPZ series. Unlike the non-turbo version, this one featured electronic fuel injection and a Hitachi turbocharger. It was very fast, had sporty handling, and many considered it as the best turbocharged bike of its era. Peugeot Jet Force Compressor The Peugeot Jet Force was a small size scooter. You could either have it with a 2 stroke 50cc or a 4 stroke 125cc engine. The latter was paired to a Rude Supercharger a year after its introduction, bringing the performance of a bigger scooter. Virus 987C34V V. Virus makes various bikes, but the C34V V is the most interesting one. It runs the Ducati L twin engine on a Bimota Tessi chassis, while the power unit itself is not so similar to the Ducati used one. They threw a supercharger on it and claimed that it's the most powerful production motorcycle. Apparently, that was a couple years ago. Yamaha XJ650 Turbo The turbo to XJ650 had a good power level for its engine displacement. However, it was quite a heavy bike and the wobbly suspension tuning was not fit for sporty riding but rather touring. Its design was very attractive for its time and supposedly was even aerodynamically functional. <laughs>
Kawasaki H2 slash H2R. The latest sensation amongst boosted motorcycles is the Kawasaki H2 and H2R. Both use a supercharger, but the H2R has a lot stronger punch and is a track only bike, not a street legal. The name refers to the old performance triples, unlike which these were 4 stroke. The H2R has a top speed of 249 miles per hour. Honda CX500 Turbo It is said that the V-twin engine in the CX500 Turbo was intended to be boosted from the day one of development. It did, however, take a few years for the turbo variant to come after the NA ones. The turbo featured a programmed fuel injection and a boost reaching 19 psi at most, doubling the engine's power. Icon Sheen The Icon Sheen is an insane motorcycle. Besides its crazy price tag of 120,000 euros, the engine was taken from the Suzuki GSX 1400. It was more of a torquey unit, but the addition of a turbocharger changes the game completely. Running at only 6 pounds of boost, it more than doubles the power of the original engine, making 250 rear wheel horsepower. The top speed is 200 miles per hour. Suzuki XN85 With less than 1200 made, the XN85 is a joy to ride. Although it belongs in the heavy bikes category, its 85 horsepower, that's the name, was not so much and the turbo even kicked at 5000 rpm. Its handling tuning made it stand out as a sporty bike, as other turbocharged bikes had different riding characteristics. <laughs> Honda CX650 Turbo In 1983, Honda updated the CX500 Turbo with an increase of engine displacement to 673cc. The OHV engine also received a high compression ratio and lower boost, thus making it smoother with less brutal turbo-like. The CX650 Turbo is said to be the best turbo bike of the 80s and it is also one of the rarest as well with only 1777 examples built.